Families of America, welcome back to the show. Today we seek to brighten your day with both lumens and candela as we talk about rifle lights. Here we are doing the freaking thing all over again. Yeah, how are you? It's brisk, the sun's starting to go down. Ironically, we're filming all of this before we've actually shot all the weapon lights tonight. We've shot them, just not tonight. Yeah. But um, we're talking about rifle lights, right? You know, this is more of kind of a niche video. You know, it's sure. not a big, sexy product that we're talking about. We're covering, covering a series of products, right? AKA rifle lights, kind of like the, here's, Kind of the latest, greatest stuff that's on the market. Yeah. Generally speaking, uh, at least one new offering we'll go through first <laughs> just to get that out of the way. And we're going to break this into, here's the way I look at it. Within rifle lights, there's two categories. Complete systems where you go, hey, you're really buying into our light and the system itself. Sure. And then there's kind of the modular designs where it's like, hey, look, you can pick your tail caps and your switches and all, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, front, the yeah. front piece, even the bodies, right? Right. Yeah. So we're going to cover two routes from both of those different paths, right? And to answer the question in advance, when people are like, where's Surefire? If Surefire would put out something that's competitive within the light space, uh, we would be happy to cover that. Aside from pistol lights, we will cover that in the pistol light video, but hey, rifle light just behind the time, so there's no need to relitigate that case. Yep. Before we jump all into that, big thanks to Sagara Gear. Yeah sponsoring the whole damn channel the whole now. damn channel belts we've been running for well over a year I, i'd say damn near two years now yeah yeah right? the, is when the was that belt, belt? i don't belt know video. Uh, i bet it's two years two no, summers? no 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 it was two not. summers for sure definitely not guarantee it was last year someone can go look if in 2022 is when we started doing segura videos um then chris will send you 20 dollars <laughs> 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 um that's their emissary belt um i wear their uh the the looser one or the the velcro one the light yep. inner belt that's my that edc guy. belt uh -huh. and they've got their uh battle belt they call it the battle wagon they've got a gen 2 of that that's out right now that's like treated with the stuff to the make thermal it, coating yeah to yep. make it like better uh less visible under night vision thermal Correct. stuff like that yep. um, but anyway there's a code you guys can plug in 1911 syndicate no spaces all lowercase saves you 10 percent off the site um we do appreciate that. Okay, let's jump into this. Cool. Let's start with the new guy. Yeah. Okay. This um, guy. And you got that one on your rifle. The so, differences between the two? Size. Pretty, pretty, pretty and battery. Minimal. Yeah. So let's start with the uh, with the basics here. New light to the market it is from HRT Gear, um, which is a company that you would primarily know from plate carriers. Okay, we've done, uh, yeah, I've got a HRT yeah. plate carrier and we did a video on that. They make good gear. They make a lot of gear for the, more of the law enforcement crowd, um, probably secondary military, a lot of law enforcement, right? Yeah. As the Third name, HR, right. HRT would probably sure. imply that, right? So this light is called the AWLS. The advanced, advanced weapon light system. There it is, yep. right? So it's advanced and it's a weapon light system. Is there anything else you need to know? So let's just show you how the thing works because it is interesting and you're probably like, so what exactly is going on here? So here's how this thing works, right? 
it's a, this is in the complete system. Yep. You know, this is hey, you're buying into this system kind of mentality, right? So uh, runs on M lock, right? You've got your body very bright it light. We'll give with you an M lock mount. Yeah, we'll give you some specs here in a sec. But basically, what you've got at the back here is this little like nub, nub, if you will, and basically it's omnidirectional. So whichever direction I push this, if I go down, if I go to the left, if I go to the right. If I go up, if I go in, if I go far enough in, it goes to permanent on. But basically, it's omnidirectional. Um, so Do you that, know the name of this cap? Well, I know who makes it. Do you know, yeah, it's called an ODA. Oh. Omnidirectional activation. I should be running some marketing <laughs> companies is what I should be doing, <laughs> right? So basically, the idea is like, hey, I'm moving around, need to activate. Whichever direction I push this, even if I'm a little bit off, I'm still going to get my weapon light activated. Yeah. It is a this little tail cap system from a company called Valhalla Tactical. Ironically, we met them at SHOT Show, I guess, m maybe now a year and a half ago. It would have been... Um, 2022 SHOT Show. Yes, 2022. Um, and it was funny because we went by their booth and we're like, hey, that's kind of a neat little thing that you guys yeah. have here. And then when HRT hit us up, hey, we're coming out with a light if you like, guys like do a view on it. And we're like, oh shit, so you guys are, you know, and I don't, I think that this is, I don't think they hide from this fact, like, hey, this is a product that, you know, essentially they're licensing or yeah, however it they're works. They're homies, from, they're working together. Valhalla Tactical. And I think it is very cool. <laughs> Why hasn't something like this been made in the future or in the past? I don't know. Yeah. Um, it is really, really neat, and we'll kind of give you some some breakdown, right? So one thing they got two different size bodies, right? Much like all rechargeable lights on the market, yeah. 18350s, 18650s, right? Short yeah. batteries, long batteries. Yeah. Um, and the output is really going to stay the same, um, but you're going to go from a five and a half link to a six and a half inch link. I think the, I mean, while most of us would probably prefer to have a six and a half inch or um, five and a half, will, sometimes it, it suffices. It'll get the job yeah. done. Yeah. It'll get the job done statistically. Yeah. Statistically, you'll get the job done unless you're faking it. But I that's mean, a six different... inches is still lacking a little, right? N no, 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 no. Just six yeah. inches is, is pretty, pretty awesome. Lacking. Um, so anyway, um, the runtime is really about the only thing that's going to change. So the runtime on mine, the shorter one, would be 32 minutes. That one, 103. Big gap. Big gap. Big gap. Yeah. Right. So three times the battery life. Um, so that's really going to come down to, hey, are you someone that needs that kind of battery life? It's all situationally dependent. Yeah. I think for vast majority of people are like, no, I don't need a weapon light to be on for 140 hours. Just charge your, up your yeah. light here and there. I'd really have a shorter light, personally. Yeah, a smaller footprint, right? Yeah. Um, so massive output on this thing. 1,700 lumens. Um, lumens think overall, like, how bright is it? Uh, you know, how, how bright is it? Candela is the throw, if you will. And this is 90,000 Candela. I can never remember the two. Yeah, so think um, total output versus how far is the beam going to go, if you will. Candela is how far okay. is that beam going? 90,000 Candela is, damn, man, that, that's a okay. lot of Candela, okay. right? So really, really excellent specs on that light. Very, very impressive, right on par with like the, you know, the big boys, the mod lights and the clouds, and we'll kind of get into that. But very, very, very nicely done on that. Uh, pros, cons for me, and that's kind of how we'll break this down. I love the switch. Yeah, I love switch. the switch. Yep, a great Great addition. I don't know why someone hasn't figured out this before. On top of, oh, Valhalla's uh, logo is even on the. Oh, good. There. Okay, yeah. So um, that's that's. On top of one thing about the switch, you get a standard quickie cap. Yeah, we just found that out. Um, so. So it's a shame on us, but um, we just found which that is out. awesome. That's excellent. And then if other companies start making their rear end like that, that threads in, it's a winning idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Give me 20 bucks if that takes off. Yeah, I'm so, or just a light, um, you know, um, or like $10,000, either <laughs> way. Um, but uh, uh, pro for me is living in a cold climate like this, uh, the, the entire, for six months of the year, I'm shooting in gloves. And some switching systems can get a little tough to activate because you're just, you can't really feel where is that pressure pad. Sure. It gets a little, the mod sure. button is, is one of those we'll talk a little bit about. But um, this is very good for use with gloves, which again, if you factor in HRT gears, making a lot of products for the law enforcement community, who would be wearing gloves. You go, hey, for those of you that shoot a lot with gloves, that thing's a total winner, yep. right? Total, total winner. Um, so another pro, space management, right? I mean, think yeah. about it, right? No wires. Yeah, there's there's no wires. There there, there there's it's no just wires, there. cords, pressure pads. It's a self-contained unit. Yeah. So if you go, okay, hey, I might need to run an IR device or uh, whatever the the thing is, you go, hey, look, you've got like one little zone here that's taken up. Your entire top rail is clean. Yeah. Right. Like you know. 
And there might be enough room there for IR devices, man. Maybe. I, I would is. actually want to try it. I just don't have a device at the moment. But um, so space management, really, really nice. Um, the uh, the six eighteen six fifty can yep. also run on two standard CL1, two, yeah yep. standard lithium batteries, yep. which is nice versus just the rechargeable. So hey, in your apocalypse scenario or something, hey, cool, you can run some standard lithiums yep. if you want. Um, and I'm very impressed with the price. So two eighty five for a complete system. Yeah. Because that, mm. as we will break down, like when you start getting into some of the mod lights, which I know you're a big fan of, it's like, hey, 285 is very good, yeah. very, very good. Because um, you're gonna you're gonna get up towards 500 on Correct. on some of the modular systems that you have to put together. Cons for me, um, I would say it is more possible to potentially have a white light ND. 100. percent Right. That's not even arguable, just because omnidirectional. Yeah. Um, right. Say I hit a corner. A barricade. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hit it. Um, now. Again, if this is not an idea and they take this, just send me 20 bucks. They should create a shroud, a shroud. that you can adjust and lock into place. Mm -hmm. So like just the exterior would be covered, so top of my thumb could do it. And I swear if they don't make something like that, again, send me 20 bucks. Yeah, clever. Right? Yeah. I think it'd be easy. Yeah. Cuz I think it, you know, in the scale of how easy would it be to have a white light ND, that would be as easy just, as yeah. anything else. Yeah, yeah you know. Which again from like a opsec perspective or whatever, it's like hey, that could cause you problems. Uh, you, you very, have, very rarely uh, I've had this little flicker where I depress it, and maybe I'm not depressing it hard enough or whatever it is, but it's just like a little pop, 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 you know, and you're yeah. like, like, oh, okay, cool, and I let go and I reset, and like, you're sure. good to go. So very, very rare, but you know, whatever. Um, con, the knob technically could get unscrewed. Like, if you just keep unscrewing this thing this way, eventually that thing's gonna... No, it doesn't. It does. What the heck? Mine doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, eventually the knob will just, no, you're unscrewing the actual housing, no, just the knob. I'm just turning the knob, brother. Well, son of a bitch. Okay, well, my knob comes off. <laughs> yeah, my, my knob will come off. So anyway, I, yeah, I guess maybe some of them, they come off, some of them, they don't. Mine I don't doesn't. know, you know, hey. I think, so there's a little Allen key in there, so yeah. you just need to tighten it down. Okay, well, hey, about if HRT sees this, which I imagine See? they will. Hey, um, all right, cool. Well, yeah, hey, take that with a grain of salt. I don't know what that is. Um, there's no pick rail option yet. Um, it's only M lock. I do know that they're working on the pick rail option. Um, and so there's that. That is the HRT light moving on to the next. Yep. Okay, before we get to Cloud Defensive, if you're looking for any ways to support the channel, A, we'd freaking love it. Uh, two, you can uh, use this for your real estate needs. For those of you that somehow still can't get this in your head, the 1911 Syndicate is a real estate company. We work with a lot of vets and uh, you know military LE guys like you. If you watch this channel, you're the kind of people that we help. We do this all over America, so it's not just here in Utah. Um, all over the country, go to 1911syndicate.com. And if you're feeling super generous, you can go to the 1911 Syndicate Patreon, which we will have linked below to check out behind the scenes content and private classes and Q and A's and their special swag that you can't buy. You can only get it through Patreon, all that kind of stuff. All right, let's get into cloud defensive. So I've historically been a big fan of, um, cloud seems to be in the game of, uh, let's keep giving you more and more brightness. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say this within the rifle light video. To any rifle light manufacturers, we're now good. They're bright enough. They're bright enough. Really? Yeah, we don't need to go any brighter. Are you sure? Yeah, we don't need to go any brighter. Okay. Like, we're, we're, we're good. It's enough. It's enough. Okay, How are you so definitive about this? Because so, I like brighter. At what point does brightness get to a point where you're like, I'm good? Because we're there. Yeah. We're there. I have an argument against that. And Cloud keeps pushing it because they got a Gen 3 of the rain now that we haven't been able to get our hands on. I got to get the Gen 2. The Gen 2 is good. Gen 3 is even brighter. You're like, shit, son. We're good. Say, though, here's my argument. So I recently took a low light class with Achilles Heel Tactical. Yeah. Right? And he did a demonstration where he showed brightness does matter because say you have a bright light, like a mod light cloud, yada, yada, yada. So do I. And we're adversaries for whatever reason. Your light needs to be bright enough to punch through the light that that adversary's light yeah. is putting towards Photonic you. Photonic barrier. Yes, I hate using that fucking word, so I wasn't gonna say that. Why are you so mad? Because it's just a stupid word. Everyone's like, oh, photonic barrier. It's like, relax, guys, we're not scientists. Here. Why don't you calm down? But anyways, angry. you do want a higher power light to punch through another higher power light. So there could be an argument for 
advancing the light. Yeah, okay. okay. Well, I'm saying I'm good. I'm going on record. <laughs> I'm good. I don't need them to be any brighter. Okay. That said, let's talk about the Cloud Rain Micro 2.0. I'm um, actually quite a big fan of this light. There you go. Yeah, you, you take it over. Um, so they got a 3.0 now, and that bitch is even brighter, okay? But so they've got 18350 and 18650 um, options on this. This is the 350, it's the smaller one. Um, the full size gets up to 5.9 inches, which is, um, uh, well, I guess maybe a little smaller than even the, or, or uh, yeah, a little smaller than the, the HRT. But um, again, the micro is like, that's the size. Yeah. Like, like that's where you want to be. Like, yeah, hang LKW out there. LKW and stuff is all kind of that size. Yeah, so. hang out there. Like, that's, that's, that's enough. So, um, pros of the Rain Micro 2.0. Um, well, uh, on the full size or the, or the micro, right? So, um, the lumens are going to either be 950 or 1100. The candela is going to be 63,000 or 71,000, depending on if you get the big one or the small one. Okay. So, again, this is plenty bright. You'll see from the footage that we'll show you guys, it is completely adequate. Pro, durability. These things are super, super bomb proof. I would say, of all the lights, they're known to be the toughest. Known to be the toughest of all the lights. Huh. Okay. And I feel very confident in saying that. Cloud is obsessed on the durability side, which I like. Yeah. Um, they, these. Compared to the first gen, the first gen was big. It was really big. Yeah. I've still got a couple of them. Yeah, and it's like, this is shrunken down compared mm -hmm. to that with better output. Nicely done, Cloud. Yep. Uh, like smaller foot footprint, better. better as performance. long as we maintain the, uh, as long as we maintain Something the output. Smaller is better. Yeah, you, you know, if you use it right. Um, so there's, the switching is, is really one of the things that I like about what Cloud does. So the pressure pad itself, again, this is in the category of like self-contained units, much like the HRT. We'll move on to the modular stuff after this. So you really got two things, right? You got your pressure pad with either your momentary, right? Or your permanent on back here. Um, on a separate switching system is your actual tail cap. So if for some reason, right, your cord got cut to your pressure like pad that. or got shorted out, you still have a light. It's in the pressure pad. I like that. I think that's great. Yep. I think Redundant it's a really, TV. really nice feature. They also have this cable management system here where essentially, you know, you find your, 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 your hole that you put your cable and you just wrap it around. Cool. And just wrap it around and it stays nice and nice and tight. Um, price on these 380 bucks. So it's gonna run you about an extra 100 bucks over the HRT. Do you deem the features that you get here and the overall design to be worth an extra 100 bucks? Up to you. Like, I, I'm not yeah. judging. I, as you can see, I own a bunch of these different things, right? So um, I do also like that Cloud is very receptive to user feedback. I think they're one of the few companies that they look at Instagram comments. They yeah. look at what people are saying about them and they go, hey, you know what? That's a fair point, let's adapt. Cool. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Any company that's listening to the consumer base and adapting and changing should be applauded. Yeah, like Surefire Polar Opposite. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. Like <laughs> one hasn't innovated in 37 years, but yeah. it is what it is. Um, cons to try to, you know, give you, you know, a critical thought on each of these since they were covering four different companies. Um, with gloves, again, living in a cold environment, this the actual buttons themselves are very tactile, yeah. okay? Um, and it really is nice during the winter. Without gloves, they're kind of overkill. Sure. Like the switch itself is pretty big. Like it's a pretty big clunky switch. Um, with gloves, you're glad you got it. Without gloves, you're kind of like, hey, you could have shrunken this thing in half and I would have been good, you know? The mod button is gonna have the opposite problem. Sure. It's gonna suck with gloves. It's gonna be really nice without gloves. Um, da 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 and then really you, you can't run rechargeable batteries on this, so hey, or, or I'm sorry, uh, standard lithium batteries. Right? Yeah, so you're, which is fine. you're stuck running the rechargeables. Um, you get more power out of the rechargeables, so that's why they do it. Yeah. All right, pause, we will switch over to Arasaka. Okay, let's jump over to Arasaka. Um, yep. We did just notice to have a uh, SP5K and a SIG 551 with a 16 inch barrel um, on screen at the same time is, should be borderline illegal how probably sexy Probably the that first is. time ever. Yeah, I mean, but. that is just a sexy combination of a couple guns right there, both of which have um, Arasaka lights on it. I will say that I think Arasaka is a uh, company that overall people sleep on. I get it, they don't necessarily make all their own stuff. Their heads are, are Malkoff heads. Um, so Arasaka is almost like, hey, bodies and a couple other things, but the heads are from someone else. And, you know, it, but it is a modular system um, and they definitely make the best mounts in the game, in my opinion. Yep. But um, anyway, so let's dive into it. 18350 and 18650 options. This is a 350, um, very compact, a 650. 
What's unique about these, they've made these for a long time, but what's unique about it is now they have rechargeables, right? So they didn't used to make rechargeable variants. Now these are rechargeables. Awesome. Right, so the output is higher versus just standard lithium batteries. That's what's up, that's awesome. Okay, so output uh, on these uh, particular heads, because again, they do have a few different heads you pick from um, when, when you order your light. 500 lumens, right? So lower on the overall lumen count, 55,000 on Candela. So these are going to be a little um, less powerful than the Cloud, the HRT, and I would think even the mod lights off the top of my yeah. head. But um, again, in my opinion, hey, they're still pretty damn adequate unless you're in some sort of dueling gunfight with someone with an opposing light and photonic barriers that you need to punch through. <laughs> um, so if you're in a that situation, okay, maybe they lack. If you're lighting up a house at night to go, you know, do something, then you're probably good to go. So you can run Malkoff or Mod Light heads on these. So you could have the same body throw on a Mod Light head. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, oh, so again, cool. very modular setup. Yeah. Right? Save so, some dollars. Yeah. If you wanted to throw your OKW head on this, no problem. Oh, cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. you've been a fan of air soccer for quite some time. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, I am. And, uh, and again, you choose your mounts, uh, tail caps, and switches. So if you said, hey, look, I want to, um, you know, when you order your light, right, you pick all these features. So, hey, look, you can put on a clicky cap or you can put on a... Uh, the DS switch, yeah, you know, or, or you know, or what kind of you know switch or tail cap or what kind of is it going from M lock to pick or you know you can swap all that stuff out. Sure. Um, and I do think that's a really nice feature. The 18650, which is this guy, um, one is more compact than most full size rifle lights. Now, granted, a little less output, um, but it is more compact. It can run on that 18650. Um, it can also run on two uh, standard lithium CR123As. Average price uh, as built is going to be about 380 to 400, so it's going to be right in line with the cloud. Yeah, 10, 20 bucks more maybe. But yeah. again, you're picking, mounting, and switches and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and right? you're still saving, you know, 50, 60 bucks compared to some other brands. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's that. Really, the only con of these, hey, you're going to have a little less output. So if you deem that I need the brightest, craziest thing that I can get, Aerosock is probably not for you. But if you want something that's clean, works well. Um, very modular. It's a great option. Yeah, agreed. Okay. And uh, you've been running for a long time with no issues. So. Yep. Big fan. Cool. Okay. On to mod light. Uh, up next, we're going to cover mod light. Mod light. And we had just talked about some of the mounting stuff. So just knocking this out of the park right out the gate. I'm using an Aerosock mount on this because again, I think they make great mounts. Great mounts. Right. Um, mod light. You have two options: OKW and PLH V2. Do you know the difference between the two? Yeah. Go ahead. PLH is going to be less of a hot spot and a bigger spread. Yeah. OKW is going to be laser beam going far distance. You got it. Good job. Um, OKW runs you 309 before you buy accoutrements. Right. They get okay. pricey. Yes. Um, same price as PLH V2. Okay. Yeah. Um, I pulled these off of a couple websites. Yeah. So that's that's kind of where I found them. So um, great thing with these rechargeable batteries, right? You can run clicky caps or you can run pressure pads. Okay. We can even switch out like the OKW head to this mm -hmm. and PLHV2 head to that one. Mm -hmm. So you could have an 18650 for more runtime. Sure. Right? With more candela or less candela and kind of, I guess, customize how you want your setup. Very similar to Arasaka right. deal. I would say years ago, they were probably the leaders in rechargeable, high performing lights. You know, for, yeah. in my opinion. No, I agree with you. It, yeah. it when went, they came out, it was definitely like that was the game yes. right there. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, They've innovated since then. Other companies, much like we've mentioned before, have kind of caught up. So yeah, I, th I think the field has now caught up to what Mod Light was doing. Yeah, and the and the biggest thing we're going to dive into this next. We already mentioned price. The biggest downside is the overall price, right? Yeah. So yeah. breaking that down for you, like if we did price of your light mount tail cap switch, what do we come out to? You're gonna come out a couple bucks shy, five hundred bucks yeah. typically. You're at four seventy, yeah. right around four seventy. Yeah. Okay. That's up Which, there. You know, if you have five rifles you need to outfit with five lights, I mean, you could do the math and be like, hey, if I go with this or that, I might be able to get a free light depending on how much money you save. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's 200 bucks more than that HRT light. Correct. That's significant. Significant. Yeah. And if you have five lights, it's $1,000. Yeah. 100 bucks right. more than a Cloud so, or Arasaka setup. Mm -hmm. So you go, eh, it's, it, it matters. Pros of these, um, at, you know, at the time that we filmed this, I just got done doing that Achilles heel tactical class, low light class. They all run mod light stuff. They swear by it. It punches through photonic barriers and all that shit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Finish, fit and finish on them is great. I really like the FDE finish. Yeah. Um, 
the cons, again, we already mentioned price. Uh, mod, mod button is good, like we talked about, much like any button, but- With gloves, it, it lacks. With gloves. Exactly. Yeah, it, it's yep. so flat that it's tough to feel the button with gloves. Correct. And you can only run rechargeables. Yeah. So some people may d use that as a ding or uh, in the con list. It's neither here nor there for it's me. It's an observation. It's just another thing you gotta keep in mind, Yeah. right? So um, other than that, that's it, man. I mean, we've already covered these before. They've been on the market for quite some time. Yeah. Was there anything else you wanted me to No, I mean, this or? is almost more of like a buyer's guide. It's not yeah. even a deep dive into each individual light. It's like, look, there's only so much to talk about on lights if we're being honest. Yeah. But it's like, hey, look, here's kind of four of like the latest, greatest things that are out there. And, you know, take your pick. Like if it's price, hey, HRT, very attractive right now. Yeah. If it's, uh, you know, the, the bomb proof, the apocalypse thing, I'd say probably cloud, you know, sure. air socket mod light, you go, you got options and how you set it up. There's, there's pros and cons to all of it. Sure. Just like anything trade off. Yeah. Right? And then yeah. just for reference, the 18650, as far as like size comparison. Yeah. Still we'll pretty just, stream, still, yeah. pretty, still slim. You know? Yeah. Slim body, not as fat, you know. Yeah. For um, a full size light, that's a good size. Yeah, it's, it's not really terrible, nice. yeah. but it'll, it'll, last so Ima imagine okay. that killed it right <laughs> like well the durability sucks so that's um, all i had for mod lights on them I, you know we kind of hit those really quick because we've hit them in the past and they've been around for a minute so. yeah well guys that's pretty much it um that's your lights you can uh ask any questions that you've got down in the uh comments we'll we're happy to jump in there and uh and chime in but yeah hey look here's four really good options there's no losers on this episode pistol lights they're are a couple bum, bum, losers, bum, bum. but um, on rifle lights, there really are no losers uh, within the brands that we've covered, at least. So I yep. guess we'll say thanks to the FLP and yep. start getting out of this bad boy. Firearms Legal Protection, they sponsor the channel. They are concealed carry insurance. And really, I guess we should say self-defense insurance. Yeah. Right? If you are in a legally justified self-defense scenario, whether it's a rock, a fire, and whatever may have you, they cover you. They also have bail bond premiums, and they have an incident cleanup unit so yep. you know someone gotta clean it up someone's got it ain't gonna be me and he ain't volunteering no he's getting paid if he is a volunteer put him in jail we need to get a different guy straight to jail yeah so like hey they pay that guy it's all kinds of cool so family plans and they got the travel one if you're yeah. traveling a bunch to a bunch i travel of a bunch states. so i get that plan yeah. it also covers my wife yeah so pretty cool yeah i'm a hermit i stay in utah so Yep. No need. Yeah. I'm, it's nice just knowing when I'm on the road traveling as much as I do. I always have firearms with me. I'm always legally carrying firearms um, that I'm covered. So There's a code there, 1911. Hey, it knocks uh, about a third off the uh, price to the subscription, so you guys can do that. Helps us out, helps you guys out. Hey, everyone, win, 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 my friend. Okay? Yep. So um, that's, that's it. That's it. Cool. Wrap it up. Hey, Thanks, we'll guys. see you guys uh, on the next episode. Yep.